Hello everyone, Old Guy Gaming here, back again with another MTG Arena video, and tonight we're going to be doing Demir Surveil. That's right, on our trek to go through old mechanics that are rotating out of standard. And it wouldn't be a video with OGG if his dogs weren't barking upstairs. I guess the mailman's going by, but I'm going to leave that in for you guys, at least for a second. Okay, actually someone came to the house, <laughs> which insinuates way more noise so i apologize for the the jump cut that you're going to get on that one so sorry about that and now the kitty's coming my goodness i'm getting all the pets today anyway so jameer surveil so again we're going on this track of looking through all the old decks that are rotating out that used to be a really big deal at one point in time um but slowly but surely faded away during the course of standard this is one of the ones that we're going to be missing is going to be jameer surveil so let's go ahead and take a look at the deck contents. Uh, you might still have some of these floating around that you just totally forgot these cards existed. Thought Down Phantasm is going to be the uh, the bottom end. Uh, it's a 2-2 two -two defender, but as you surveil, it gets a plus one, plus one counter, and whenever it reaches three, it, it loses defender. Super cool. Um, Night Veil Sprite, every time it attacks, it's, it uh, uh, surveils, so that does kind of build that up on right along Tide. His little buddy, the Jameer Safai Bug, loved this card. I love this card. Uh, first of all, I love the artwork. It's fantastic, but I also love the mechanic behind it. It's Flying and Menace, which is really cool to get it down for a two drop. But every time you're surveilling, you're getting a plus one, plus one counter on it. We have a bunch of those creatures. Like, every time you do something, you get a plus one, plus one counter on it. This one just happened to be triggering off the surveil mechanic and was a real nightmare to deal with. For a long time. Uh, Discover and Dispersal. Haven't seen this around in a really long time. Surveil 2 and draw 2 cards for the sorcery speed. Again, that's a trigger for a lot of the other Surveil stuff that's in your deck. Uh, each opponent returns a non-land permanent they control with the highest converted mana cost. And then they discard a card. That's just a dirty little trick that you can pull off in the late game. Of course, we're going to go Thought Erasure. I know I said this is one of the most annoying cards, but it does have the Surveil mechanic, so I do have a reason for putting this in. Um, it's mostly there for the Surveil, but I do like the added benefit of yanking something out of their hand. I know, call me a hypocrite. I, I, I recognize that. Sinister Sabotage as well is going to be a counterspell that has sur Surveil on top of it. So again, all the stuff we're building on top of it. Disinformation Campaign. We used to sue a lot of this. Even after these, the entire Surveil mechanic kind of like rotated out of standard, you still saw this a lot. Um, but each time you, you know, every time you surveil, you can actually put it back in your hand. So you can legitimately just keep dropping this and dropping cards out of your opponent's hand. It's really annoying. Uh, Notion Rain, easily one of the coolest artworks um, that has come, that came out of uh, Ravnica, Guilds of Ravnica. Uh, Notion Rain, surveil two, you draw two cards and then take two damage. Um, I'm mostly there again for the surveil, but I do like the idea of drawing the two cards for the two damage. It's actually not that bad. And then I dropped in two Connive Conduct. Uh, you can gain control of target creature with power crushes two or less. Please take note that that doesn't say until end of turn. It's just yours. Um, Conduct's the other one. Uh, I'm sorry, Conduct is the other one. And then it's return target creature card from the battleground to the, gra to the graveyard. Uh, because you're going to be doing a bunch of surveilling, you can actually chuck stuff into the graveyard and then pull it back out with this if you don't want to pay the mana cost. That's going to be for these two guys here. That's going to be things like Doom Whisper, the 6-6 six, six flying trample. You pay two life to surveil. He just keeps, you know, triggering off all the other stuff that's out there and then dream eater being the other one the six cut the six drop for four three flash no less which is always nice to be able to have um surveils four whenever it lands uh that does only trigger once on the dream spy bug it doesn't count each time you go through just so they're on the same page um and then you can return a target nylon opponent to its opponent's hand mana base super easy 10 swamps 10 islands and four watery graves so if you feel i've earned it by all means please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button to be super helpful to the channel and of course if you have a deck that you're currently playing in this weird in-between standard that we're in let me know in the comments down below if it's a deck that i decide to do a video on i'll be more than happy to give credit to those who have made those suggestions so all that youtuber stuff out of the way uh, i'm actually surprised i've been doing i've been doing this in standard rank darn it i think that's where we're gonna go again standard rank with surveil in the platinum leagues we'll see how it goes I don't know. We'll find out. Tack. Tack is our first opponent. In the Platinum Leagues with Surveil and holy cow. Well, technically we've got a good run here. And we have our one to three drops. This this could work. This could work. Come on, Tack. Thought down Phantasm, 2-2 two, two Defender. Actually does pretty good against Modern Red. Uh, 
It does stink that it has to get up to a 5-5 before it can actually do anything, but you get there really quick. And Tax looking at it going, I've never seen that card. Nobody runs that card. What is this? What is this madness? Ori's, Ori's roping us. What or the other? I don't want to accuse anyone of that. Although I have my concerns. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's going to be Grohl. This should be interesting. Good thing we've got that Sinister Sabotage. It's always nice to Sinister Sabotage Embercleave whenever it comes out. Uh, Dramir Spybug, good. Uh, don't really need the mana, so that'll work. Do want to drop that black land. Ooh, we're definitely a turn ahead. We can get the uh, the survive um, the spy bug out. Thought erasure. Don't mind if I do. What you got there, Risen Reef? Uh, yeah. So let's drop Risen Reef out of his hand. Slow him down. Take that. We're at least going to slow him down a turn to three. It'll be nice to be able to ca uh, counter Omnoth whenever it comes down. He still needs... He's going to get one here. He does have non-tap lands. He's got a couple of shock lands in his hand. So he can get this in two turns. So we need to be prepared. I really want to cast... I really want to be able to cast Sinister Sabotage whenever it comes down. Because he's going to cast it next turn. So we're just going to hold. Because I know that's what he's going to do now. He's going to drop the shock land. And he's going to cast Omnath. And that'll put us in a position that Thought Down Phas Phantasm can attack next turn. Which is super cool. So he's going to shock land. Oh, he's going to Fable of Passage. That works too. Either one works. He let it go. He let it go? Okay, disinformation campaign works for me. Night Vale Sprite. I miscounted my mana. I realized that whenever I cast it. I was sitting here sitting on Sinister Sabotage waiting for it. But I like that better. Because Omnath's only a 3-3. Cavalier of Thorns. That's a pain. But look at that. Two. Count them. Two. Sinister Sabotages. I think we're going to wait. We're going to hold off on this one. Omnath's going to be next, I would think. Cavalier of Thorns, no thank you, good sir. Doom Whisperer, yes please. So we're going to do this information campaign one more time. Oh, I dropped the swamp. Watery grave, sure. And we're going to hold, because he's going to cast that, or at least he thinks he is. I've changed my mind. Don't want water grave. Now you could hit me with seven, good sir, or five. 
Okay. Not sure I agree with that sentence at all. Oh, he discarded Ugin. Everyone's running Ugin. Ugin's like the answer to everything. So he could cast Ugin here and wipe everything out. He's going to go Cavalier of Thorns, though. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know how he gets through this. He's got a blocker, sure. Wait, he's got Ugin in his hand. I know he's got Ugin in his hand. He's got to get rid of it. Like, why would you do that? Um, we're gonna... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um... Sure. And the thought down thought bound phantasm is now going to be a 1010. I assume he's gonna wanna block that. Interesting, okay. I don't know why he did that. If he'd have blocked the Jameer Spyback, he'd have won. I'm not sure what his thought process was there. Like, he had it right the first time. That's inter that's interesting to me. Really interesting to me. I think I misquoted myself, by the way. I think I quoted in the earlier videos in the Platinum ranks. I'm not. I am clearly in the Silvers. I forgot that the whole thing had flipped over. It also tells you how crazy work has been for me recently to not be able to get a chance to be able to build up to at least getting into gold. But it is what it is. Work is work, and it has been crazy busy where I work next. Hmm. There's potential here. I'm not liking not having a creature in hand. Like, if I had the Dramir Spy Bike, I'd be much happier with this hand. But Discover will allow us to go get that. Hopefully. No such luck. A uh, pride mate, you say? This looks like it's going to be Orzoth life gain, and we're going to have some problems with this one. Unfortunately, because I think they're just going to get ahead of us way too quickly. We shall see. We'll see how this goes. Yep. Yep. No, you can have that. Hmm. Let's go disinformation campaign. Let's get that up. Something out of his hand. Now the thought bound phantasm comes in. Not liking his choices of what he has to get rid of. Ooh, Oath of Kaya. No, we're going to hold off. Another Pride Mate. Yep, 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 yep. So I have a path. I see how this could work. We're going down quick, though. We really need another blue mana. Perfect. Oh, uh, that's a shame. Uh, actually, I'm okay with that. Mm. 
Yeah, because in a second, we're going to start getting two of those down. The problem is, I don't think we can outrun the Pride Mates. Cruel Celebrate. Interesting choice for this deck. So then the question becomes, do I kill one of the Celebrants? Do I kill... Yeah, we've got no choice. We've got to kill one of the Pride Mates now. I assume he's going to kill the Phantasm. Yep. Drop that, draw that. Oh, that'd be useful later. Now we could swing. He could. He will lose that. And that is a big part of his game plan. My hope, banishing light. And that's the game, kiddos. Because there is not much more we can do. Well, yeah, no, I think I think he's got us on that one. I had my concerns at the beginning of the game, knowing that he was going to be able to do that. Like, it's a good deck. It's a really good deck. And this is just not really equipped. Like, it doesn't have the removal that we need to be able to get the Pridesmates out of there. But that's okay. Ooh, we got stuff. Maybe we'll open a pack at the end of this while we're at it. All right, let's get one or two more games in. I really, really loved playing this deck before. Really loved it. Um, I think the Dermir Flash deck... Probably better. Probably better. But still really cool. A watery grave. So this is going to go... Yeah, this could work out perfect. Oh, look at that. Gruel. Yay. Go right into our third land, please. Thank you very much. Uh, let's do watery grave. Because that pulls us into Sinister Sabotage area early. Paradise Shrewd, cool. Thoughtbound. Ah, oh, I'm so tempted. So tempted. Yeah, let's do it. Notion Rain. Mm, not at the moment. Disinformation campaign I'll take, though. Spellbreaker. I figured they'd come in at a 4-4. Imagine that. No, we're good. Because we're waiting for Embercleave. If he drops a mana, he's got it. He's got Embercleave. Like he's got the he's got everything he needs right here. Come on, you know you want to. Yep, so here it comes. He's gonna swing. He's gonna get Embercleave down. Um, okay. I assume he's going to Embercleave now. Nightmare Sprite, perfect. Oh. 
Let's make him drop a card. Nope, we're good. Oh, interesting. Genuinely thought Embercleave was going to be floating around here. Apparently not. <sighs> Power two or less, you say, huh? I think we're going to wait. I think we've just got to wait. One more mana, we can start doing a little bit more. But we're, I'm still waiting for Embercleave. Like, I know that's coming. One more mana, we get Doom Whisper around, too. And then we can just basically self-feed. Oh, no, sir. Sure, we'll feed that a little bit more. Gonna take a wild guess and say he's got Embercleave in hand. What do you think? Bet you he does? I bet you he does. Mm. Let's see if we can go get that mana. Sure did. I don't think we need that. Oh, there went Embercleave. Oh, such a shame. Oh, I feel so bad. I feel horrible. Oh, darn. No Embercleave, you say? That's a shame. Pelt Collector. Cool. Oh, watery grave. Um, we're gonna let that enter tapped because we're gonna gain control of Pelt Collector. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Another pot collector, you say? Oh no, whatever will I do? Um, oh, where to go from here? I think we swing for the fences. Let him kill his own pot collector. And then we'll dream eater on the way in. So he's got to have something. Cool. Dream Eater. <laughs> we beat Grohl with <laughs> Dream Eater. <laughs> Oh, that's the kind of stuff that makes me laugh. It makes me enjoy life sometimes when stuff like that happens. Ah, oh, so much fun. So much fun. All right, we're going to get one more game. Woo. Uh, we're getting kind of low on the... Yeah, let's, let's go buy some packs here. That's what we'll do. We will go and open some packs. We'll save some packs at the end. Uh, we'll, right, well, let's go. Let's just crack this one. What do we get? Little cracking packs at the end. Got a free wild card there. And uh, we it. Cool. Uh, let's go get more. We can get two more packs. That'll do that for you guys. Ah, uh, what a good way to end that one. <laughs> oh, the whole time, the whole time, I just uh forcing him that forcing him to discard Embercleave was amazing. A and then ha ooh, there you go. And then having a uh, callback for Grohl. Um, 
Sprawlbreaker, whatever it came into play. There it goes. Hooded Bright Fane. All right, so that's going to do it for this one. Let me know in the comments down below which decks you are currently running in this weird little in-between meta that we have. If you do feel that I've earned it and enjoyed the content by, of course, all means, hit the like and subscribe button. It does help out the channel quite a bit. So until next time, we shall see you in the arena. This video was brought to you in no small part by our patrons. If you would like to help out the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga and thank you for your support.